Hello, welcome to Lead Toledo. I'm Chris Lee, and today we will be talking about what workers are missing in the United States and what industries are seeking workers, especially for EB3 immigration processes. We'll start with the first question that many people have been asking. How to apply for a visa? Do I need a lawyer? Um, yes. I think it's very important that people realize that while some visas you can do by yourself, an EB3 process is very regulated because you need a labor certificate. So it is always wise to seek a professional, such as an immigration attorney, who is able to do this process and who will know the rules so that you are not disadvantaged by missing any deadlines. I think it's important that you realize that the EB3 benefit involves a labor certificate that involves Department of Labor. So you want to work with somebody who knows what they're doing so you do not miss any deadlines. What qualifies for an EB3 benefit? Well, the beauty of an EB3 benefit is that you don't need any qualifications because it applies to unskilled, low skilled, a little bit of skilled, or even some professionals. So that means those individuals who may not have certain degrees, may not have certain certifications for their profession, can be hired in the industry that is seeking workers and receive a labor certification and be sponsored by an employer who can then help you get a green card. Next is the question, what is the cost of the visa? So at Lee Toledo, we have the legal cost and we have the cost for the process, which could mean cost for USCIS fees, translation fees, as well as advertising fees. So if you are interested, please contact us to get specific information about what our legal fees are. What are the stages of the process for an EB3? Well, you have the labor certification process, which can be approximately eight months, and that's with the Department of Labor. So once it goes through the Department of Labor process, then you receive the labor certificate, and then you can go into the immigration portion, which at that time, when you're filing your I-140, you can seek premium processing, and now through recent regulations that have come out, you can also seek premium processing on your work authorization. How long does it take to be issued? Well, you have approximately eight months on the labor certification, and then you've got anywhere from maybe a year to two years on the USCIS portion. But since you can do premium processing, that will speed things up quite a bit. For the additional fee of premium processing, you can get the I-140 adjudicated in approximately 15 business days and 30 business days on your employment authorization with premium processing. The last question is, can the visa be funded by sponsor? Yes. It usually is because when this is being filed, the sponsor is filing this on your behalf. You are the beneficiary of the sponsor who is filing the petition. That's EB3 in a nutshell. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for visiting and I'll see you for the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.